Prime Minister Modi's visit to Kanyakumari for a meditation break before the last phase of polling for the Lok Sabha elections 2024 has resulted in a political storm and a war of words. A delegation of Congress leaders uh, led by Radeep Surjewala, Abhishek uh, Madhu Singhvi and Sayyid Nasir Hussain handed over a memorandum in this regard along with 27 other complaints of alleged model code violations by Bharti Janata Party. The Congress has claimed that the meditation break of Prime Minister Modi in Kanyakumari was a clear violation of the silence period ahead of uh, June the 1st voting and urged the Election Commission that the PM does not use this meditation break for his political reasons. Meanwhile, West Bengal Chief uh, uh, and Trinamool Congress Supremo Mamta Banerjee stated that they will complain. He can meditate, but televisions cannot show it. Now, of course, the Prime Minister has done this in 2019. At that time, too, this resulted in a storm of sorts. But we'll discuss this and get opinions from our panelists. Joining us on the show is Mr. Mukesh Tyagi, BJP spokesperson. Ashpreet Khadiyal, Congress spokesperson, also with us on the program. Anubha Bratha Roy, TMC supporter, joins us on the show as well. And Joyita Basu, editor of The Sunday Guardian, with me in the studio as well. Ashpreet, why do you think this is wrong? The Prime Minister, perhaps is there in his personal capacity. Why should this reflect on his politics and why should this, in fact, uh, you know, be taking offence to? This is a, a, a private person uh, going for uh, a retreat of sorts because, you know, he doesn't believe in taking holidays. Perhaps this is his form of getting away. Well, if Mr. Modi needs a retreat of sorts, then he can do that after the polling hours are over. Or he can do that without the cameras being there. But now the Bharatiya Janata Party, let's, let's have a, a very pinpointed debate. If meditation is the objective, then there is no need for the cameras. There is no need for the publication of it. There is no need for the media channels to give coverage to it. Because uh, one, uh, this, then the Bharatiya Janata Party should actually accept this. And second, this is not the first time that they are trying to do this. You remember, back in the day also, on uh, similar occasions of voting, Mr. Modi has meditated. And uh, we all know it. For, I mean, even kids know this, that the reason as to why they want to do this is so that they can influence, so that they can campaign, so that they can do publicity via that indirectly. Now, the fact of the matter is that the Bharti Janata Party is accustomed to undermining the election commission, is accustomed to undermining the guidelines, and they have done that time and again. And we have all seen how, despite so many complaints, the EC has not acted against uh, Mr. Modi. In fact, uh, when uh, divisive remarks were made about uh, intruders, about uh, the people that have more children, allegedly these remarks that were made by Mr. Modi, there was no action taken at all whatsoever and there were uh, complaints which had around 17,200 signatures on it. There was another complaint that had around 2,200 signatures on it. And despite that, nothing has been done about it. So the reason as to why we have, uh, I mean, we are having to debate this is because uh, the Bharti Janata Party is just not ready to follow the rules. Uh, uh, I'll give you another example as to when the Bharatiya Janata Party undermined the rules. When uh, 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 the Honorable Supreme Court had said that the CJS to be made a part of the selection committee for the election commission, they undermined the Supreme Court also, they undermined the Supreme Court's order also, they undermined the CJ also. I mean, if, this, uh, if, 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 if the CJ would have been a member of the selection committee, it would have only ensured credibility to that committee. But the BJP is used to doing that. They have been undermining our democracy. They have been undermining our constitution and they have been undermining the guidelines by the election commission and we'll make sure that the BJP's accountability is fixed and the people of India are voting and uh, are noting this and accordingly they shall vote and oust the Bharti Janata Party and the Nafrat Ki Dukan would be shut forever for that. Hmm. Jaita, what do you make of what Ashpreet said that uh, this is obviously a clear violation and the Prime Minister could have done this once the elections were over? Well, the thing is that uh, I think he's taking a break from the elections and if the TV cameras follow him, you know, all that the news channels need to do is that they need not show this. Simple as that, you know, if they think, you know, as a private citizen, as a, uh, he can always go to wherever he wants to go. All that it takes is that, you see, instead of telling the EC that the Prime Minister is violating uh, the model code of conduct, they should be telling the EC, just tell the television channels not to show it. 
you know i think it is basically as i mean i'm certain if mr rahul gandhi is going somewhere the tv cameras will follow him as well well if mamta banerjee is going somewhere the tv cameras will follow her so i don't think it is i mean as a person anyone can do anything as long as it is within the bounds of the so law so it's not by design no yeah that is, i mean how do i know how who am i to sit here and judge whether it's by design or I not think. Okay, we can't we can't say that. You know, we can say so many things about every leader. Then that everything is by design. Why are we imputing motive to whatever anyone does? And it applies to all the leaders, by the way. So the whole point is that if the cameras follow him, tell the EC to uh, ensure that the media channels do not show this. They do not write about it. It's simple as that. Hmm. All right. Let me also, in fact, uh, rope in uh, Anubhav Prata Roy into this conversation. Anubhav Prata, in fact, uh, Mamta Banerjee was one, you know, the first one to react and snap at uh, the Prime Minister going for this uh, meditation retreat. You know, this is not only about the Prime Minister or uh, his space at all. This is also about, you know, him touching upon, uh, you know, the heritage and legacy and culture of our country. Why should the opposition have any kind of a problem? Uh, first of all, good evening to all of you. Uh, as Look, as much as, as I am con uh, concerned and the opposition is concerned, opposition is not concerned about Prime Minister Narendra Modi taking a holiday or maybe going on a vacation. We are not at all opposing that. Problem uh, lies here that when you are going to a vacation, you don't expect cameras around you. You want to break from there. Like you, like you are working in a studio, right? You don't want your home to be a studio always. You want that, want that break? You will enjoy that. So why Prime Minister Narendra Modi is carrying around camera? He can have his iPhone, he can have his laptop, but why? Why is he uh, roaming around with the whole studio? You want a break? You can get the break, but why are you faking it? And as far as I am concerned, well, he's the Prime Minister. You know, he, he obviously will have people following him. He will have media attention. Yeah, but he wants a vacation. So why? Why the? Why he, want, he wants a? media personnel around him. He just, he's, he can have his security, he can have his uh, What is peers. the opposition running out of issues and agenda? This is, no, this is not an agenda because this is an agenda because Narendra Modi is uh, deliberately trying a religious, uh, religious influence because he is getting whitewashed in the last phase of election in West Bengal. He will, ne he will not get a single seat from West Bengal. So he is trying to influence the last bit of the part he is trying to do. So, as, uh, so, ultimately, it is said that it is a political stunt, it is a publicity okay. stunt. Okay, let's get a response from Mr. Tyagi as well. Mr. Tyagi, of course, uh, Anubha has made a uh, few important points. He's saying that the BJP is not getting one seat. I find it very hard uh, to fathom, uh, Anubha Brata, that from 18 seats, they could come down to zero. And, you know, for no real reason that is. And secondly, Mr. Tyagi, he also said uh, and implied that the Prime Minister is using religion to uh, garner attention. I think it's an absolute preposterous argument that there is a phrase in English, bed works men quarrel with his tools. Uh, so, uh, in Hindi. So, these guys have been consistently uh, criticizing Prime Minister for any initiative Prime Minister takes, whether it's a new parliament, any initiative you can wear, Brown Prathish Town, 26th January, uh, 22nd January, none of these people, they all boycotted that, they didn't come. As a result, there was a big... I mean, the Congress Party was almost on the verge of dividing between Sanatan and non-Sanatan. They have abused Sanatan many times. They have abused uh, 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 Narendra Modi a number of times. They have been uh, basically visceral hatred against Hindutva. Now, that's the one factor. Second factor is, maybe they are quoting him MCC, Model Code of Conduct. Now, the election commissioner, um, uh, the election commissioner is the ultimate responsibility in conducting the fair a fair poll in the country. Now, if they do not find anything objectionable, then who are we to criticize whether the Prime Minister is entitled to go and uh, get the paparazzi out there or not? Who are we? I don't think that's the final authority and they must learn to respect the institutions. They try to malign all the institutions possible. It looks like they are losing the election. That's why this frustration is surfacing. Now, in 2014 also, he went for a retreat like this. In 2019, he went for a retreat like this. In 2014, nobody objected to it. They are quoting now uh, silence. It's an oxymoron expression in itself. Section 136 or 126 of uh, People's Representation Act, uh, 1951, 
where is the violation where is the technical violation show me any age clause which is being violated now if prime minister modi is a world global celebrity if it is let me tell you vinith if it had been a, a monarchy uh, in uk can you imagine the batteries of uh, papa reddies who follow them every nook and corner so i um, mean who can stop people going and uh, connect so it it means mr modi should stop Uh, just first ensure there should no paparazzi there is no television there is no camera the, the, then he will go for his program so he, but look at his background his reverence for vivekanand even his name was kept narendra because vivekanand name was narendra datta so his reverence for spiritual uh, vivekanand especially has been on the top he follows his philosophy now rajiv gandhi vini set up 19, 1985 Vivekanand as a as a international or national youth day. So this was the initiative taken by Rajiv Gandhi. Now, if you if 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 Rahul Gandhi wants to go somewhere, he is more than welcome to go somewhere. Why doesn't he go to Vatican or to go to some church or go to some other places and do his puja? Nobody will stop him. Mamta Banerjee can go and chalao chadar to any 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 mazar. She is entitled to go. Kejriwal can go to Tihar Jail. We are not stopping them from doing anything. So I think it's a very, very childish uh, reaction. If they they are losing, if they are on the one hand claiming that we are winning the election. Now they are getting so insecure, even for such a spiritual deed that to in Kanya Kumari, which has no bearings whatsoever, because all the elections are not happening anywhere in the south. South elections have happened earlier. He could have gone for this uh, after that, but he did not go. So silence period is following silence. He is silent on that day. He is so silent for 45 hours. So why are you making such a big noise out of it? I think you are on the contrary, digging up your own grave by raising a protest against Prime Minister Modi on such a auspicious day. I mean, let him go and do what he is doing. On the contrary, you have popularized his um, uh, spiritual. That's uh, a good point. Uh, let me, in fact, get a response from Ashpreet on that as well. Ashpreet, Mr. Tyagi has made a very important point that you know, you are you making this noise about the Prime Minister. meditating and perhaps breaking uh, the moral code of conduct is in itself an act of diverting more attention towards him see the concern here is that if you don't speak about it if you do not criticize it which is a clear violation of the moral code of conduct and like i told you even kids can see through it the media can see through it the gentlemen defending and the people defending the bhatia janta party can see through it they know it that mr modi is doing it in order to impact now there are two simple and specific reasons behind that which nobody can counter one is that if meditation is the purpose why did it not happen before why did it not happen after why specifically on the day of voting number one <clears throat> number two is it a coincidence that mr modi only decides to meditate on voting days because in 2019 at the time of general elections he did exactly the same thing so maybe it's a coincidence that he decides to do meditation after 5 years and that also again on the voting day so is it any less any 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 less clear to us i mean it's it's as clear as as day it's crystal clear for everyone to see that it's being done with a purpose and we have to speak of it because it is wrong uh, and second of all uh, they saying that the media shouldn't come and cover it the bjp spokesperson saying that now if that is your contention then given a surety here on the channel itself the, the bjp that the bjp will not send an invite to the media for coverage and the bhatiya janata party gives that surety and number 2 uh if 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 you know meditation is something that is done in private meditation is something that is for you it is not for others uh it's for the inner self and if uh, that is uh, the uh, that is something that the bjp understands or their leaders understand then why do we want to showcase it to others it is for you it is for your inner peace it is for your, for your inner self why do you not want to do that but uh, uh, politicize it publicize it so the bhatiya janata party is accustomed to doing this uh, and i'll just say one thing the reason as to why they have to resort to such things is because they have no work to show they are not confident of their wins because the bjp's graph is south mein ho gaye hain saaf north mein reh jayenge half this is actually the bjp's graph therefore they are having to resort to this but this won't do you any good this won't help you in any which way 
the bhartiya janta party wo keh rahe mr modi have has a famous dialogue you remember ki hum to fakir aadmi hai ji jhola leke chal padenge so the bhartiya janta party should ready the jhola and because they will have to uh, take that away with themselves once the country votes because uh, once once we reach to the final phase of the election because the bhartiya janta party has in the last 10 years uh, tried to undermine our democracy time and again try to undermine our constitution time and again try to undermine our institutions time and again so my only request to the bjp is it's your last few days you are at the evening enjoy it as much as you can because very soon you won't be able to do uh, these kind of things and the people are watching and the people will be voting against you for that all right joyta if uh, this is also come down to uh, you know prophesizing as well as uh, you know having a crystal ball as to what the bjp numbers are going to be how do you respond to what tashweet has just said well frankly I, as i keep saying i'm not here to respond to any political spokes people's what they have to say because they, they all of them have take a very partisan stand uh, as you see what i see it as uh, if the prime minister if you are looking at it totally politically if the prime minister is going to the vikanandar rocks basically he this is part of his outreach to south india you know the southern part of india and obviously the way he is going around and the way he is obviously thinking about the future and from whatever reports we have been getting they are already working you know the different ministries are already working on the next 100 days program so all this you know being flippant on tv and talking about jhola taking jhola and all that that is that is non serious you know that is non serious debate you cannot have such things and especially not expected from you know the primary uh, the main opposition party They, let's bring some gravity to a debate like this so the whole point is that it is obviously if you are looking at it politically that it's obviously the outreach is towards the south which we have seen throughout these elections that the prime minister has been making a major outreach to the south so it has to be seen whether that translates into seats or not in these elections but the buzz is that the bjp is rising in the south so again i'm going to say if we are going to look at it politically all this is tied up like that and this is definitely not looking like a man who is losing you know this is something the congress thinks and the opposition in general thinks that people are fools people are not and the thing is you see just one phase of election is left and that also not in the south so how much can the prime minister Absolutely. possibly influence voters in the north and east by just visiting the vivekananda rock that's a great point actually anubhava pata in fact joyta has nailed this uh, you know entire conversation uh, on its head the prime minister doesn't need to galvanize votes in the south uh, you know his audience in this last phase is somewhere else then why make you know such a hue and cry about this as i previously mentioned that in the last phase of elections uh, he will be getting bjp will be getting white washed in bengal because what is the ground of bjp in west bengal what the what are the last developments of bjp in uh, bjp is in west bengal like after 2021 narendra modi hasn't been seen in west bengal since like what the 21 uh, elections no, no ground what is what, he was what just is, in bengal anubha he was just in bengal a few days back no after 2021 like before election before general elections the campaign has started what role did he played in west bengal what what the, how many ministers have been given in west bengal from west bengal so mm. the point remains the same he has nothing to offer for the west bengal people for the bengali people he is only going to use this uh, vivekananda site he is only going to uh, use this religion site and going to play this card Hmm. Okay, Mr. Tiagi, would you like to respond to that? Of course, uh, Anubhava Pratha is not very positive about uh, the BJP's numbers in West Bengal. He thinks from 18 you will perhaps come down to zero. But uh, you know, once again, alluding to the uh, stellar point that was made by Joyata Basu, that uh, you know he's not trying to woo any electorate at this point in time. Let me tell you, this time Mamta Banerjee is completely routed from West Bengal. Look at the way Sandesh Khali has been handled. Look at the way she has. challenge the law and order situation she doesn't follow nia she doesn't follow cbi she uh, she uh, the the the, uh, the the enforcement directed people are beaten up people are seeing that mamta banerjee has done nothing she has done pure appeasement uh, politics 
Somas Soth, Alkeshwar Mandir, which is a Hindu temple, that the head, the chairman of the trust, Alkeshwar uh, Trust, is a Muslim. So she has outrightly gone for appeasement of the Muslims. Now her ground has quickly shifted because people have seen the real face of um, uh, Mamta uh, Banerjee, who is basically replacing the bloody um, uh, DNA of uh, Communist Party. And that's why what she's perpetrating the same model. Look at the violence, how many BGP guys have been beaten up, killed. Uh, and this this kind of, uh, uh, you know, chaos has never been seen in any of these states so easily. Uh, it is a tolerance of the government, central government, that did not impose uh, the presidential rule in West Bengal and allowed uh, Mamta Banerjee to continue to rule. So, but now she has reached to the pinnacle. She's on exit. You can take it from me. I'm predicting right now we will get at least 25 minimum 25 in, in West Bengal. Now coming to the other points, as a matter of fact, if you have seen a correlation, uh, most of the time, um, uh, Mr. Modi has gone on a, on, a, on a spiritual sojourn after the assembly election, be it Karnataka, be it Telangana, be it uh, Himachal Pradesh, as a matter of fact, BJP has not won. So if there, there is a correlation, I can tell you the whole history, but look at his reverence in 1991, Ekta Yatra, which was uh, launched by uh, Murli Banwar Joshi, he went to Kashmir from uh, Kanyakumari. So that is his reverence. It's not something which is doing out of pretension. He is completely dedicated and he is committed to the spiritualism and he is also dedicated to the spiritual renaissance in this country, redemption of the our Sanatan values, which these guys have completely denounced, ridiculed, as a majority, we are, uh, I mean, I, I'm talking about the, the Lok Manmohan Singh said, they have the first right on natural resources. I don't want to get into the debate, but this narrative of appeasement continued for so long. Now, Mr. Modi is giving them a cultural shock by reversing the entire position, being in country, being in India, being a Hindu, you are being ridiculed because you want to say one word about yourself. You can't go and do the reverence. You can't go to uh, uh, Parvati temple there and do your puja. Vivekananda right, got his enlightenment and Mr. Modi, just let me finish in 10 seconds. Mr. Modi is known for his very, very deep propensities and his religious uh, commitment to the country. So I think, and he has got just two days. After that, he'll be busy forming the government. So he will, he will entire energy will go into the allocation of portfolios, what will be the new policies. So I think he, he just has got a luxury of time. Look at the way he works. Next morning, he starts working the moment he wins the elections. You will see to him in the office working with the full throttle. So this is, it's a absolutely childish criticism. I think Congress should apologize to the nation for making such a preposterous and childish criticism. All right. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.